Stuart Gray has a question. In a tropical climate, everything breaks down so quickly. It is no wonder that chop and drop is very effective. Should we modify our approach in different climates? Are mulch best practices practiced different under different conditions? In my cool, temperate climate, would not a chop, shred, compost, and then drop be more effective? Well, it would everywhere, but and it speeds up the process. Even here, big chunks like this take a while to go down, for sure, but it's going rotten. We've got ants crawling around everywhere around here, um, breaking it all down. Um, ants break down more wood than worms here as we get closer to the tropics. But um, you have rot in the winter. Um, you need to chop your wood up smaller. You still need to feed a food forest. You need to feed a forest with wood. A forest grows on a fallen forest. Um, you can't afford to chip it all unless you're on a small area. So, you know, we've got small branches everywhere. These are all breaking down. Um, it's all slow release. Um, the top leaves and twigs, they all break down quicker, of course. Um, if you can afford to chip it, I mean, composting it as well is going to take a while. Small area, you can do it. Large area, you've got to do what you can do. As you get out to the outer zones, as you get out in the larger areas, you're more, comp you're more compromising with exactly what nature does. Uh, a forest grows on a fallen forest, and you're designing the way the forest falls, and you're increasing the speed of its decomposition. But there is a point where um, it's just not, not work efficient. Small area, yeah. Large area, now we've got to work with something more in, in line with nature. Cut it as small as you can, lay it on contour, keep it in contact with the soil, make sure that you know you realize that it's going to go through a winter before you start getting those damp rots. That's all.